Okay. Yeah, she's a peach. Huge. Call the meeting of the City Council to order for Monday evening, December the 14th, 2015. Please stand as we salute our American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good evening, Councilors. Good evening, guests. First order, Mr. Clerk. Petition of Paul Coyman for a transfer of garage license located at 609 Oak Street, Brockton. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, I'd ask them to come forth and state their name and address uh, to the clerk. Come to the, come to the podium. I'm Paul Coyman. How are you? I'm good yourself. Very good. Anything you'd like to just mention? Um, the license was in my mom's name for years, and I own the property now, and I'd like to have it switched to me. Very good. Very good. Okay, thank you. Is Mr. there anyone President, else? President. President, just if I could. Yes, uh, Councillor. Which building is it? 609 Oak Street. Yeah, which? The Meineke shop. The Meineke shop. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else here uh, that would like to be recorded in favor? Please come forward and state your name and address to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Anybody here in opposition? I'd ask to come forward and state their name and address to the clerk. Seeing none, I close that part of the hearing as well. Um, question, on question on granting by a hand vote. All in favor? Opposed? So granted. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Good luck. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of December 7, 2015. Accepted and placed on Report file. Report of the Real Estate Committee for its meeting December 7, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication for the Mayor in accordance with Section 2-110, Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton, recommending the City Council grant a residency waiver. Accepted and placed on file. Mr. President, I'd like to take uh, number 21 out of order. Second. second. Motion's been made and seconded. We take item number 21 out of order. All in favor of that? Opposed? We're going to take that item out of order. Mr. Clerk, would you please read that order? Order from the Assistant City Solicitor submitting a waiver of residency of the City Council under Section 2 110 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton. Can I you want to move? Go ahead, Madam. Go yes, ahead. I'd like Council. to move to act on this uh, t this evening under suspension of the rules. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded that we act on this item uh, this evening under the suspension of rules. All in favor of that? Opposed? We're going to act on that this evening. I ask the clerk to please call the roll. Yes. Burns. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative. And the, Mr. Um, President. The item has been uh, accepted. Yes. I'd like to make a motion to, 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 to make a reconsideration in hopes that it does not prevail. Motion, Second. Motion has been made and seconded for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? <coughs> All opposed? Reconsideration fails. That item is complete. Thank you. Communication from the Executive Health Officer requested that the City Council accept and expend a sum of $6,098.66 for the Mass Department of Public Health for its Region No. 5 host station, the Mass Association of Health Boards, for the purpose of building the level of volunteers for Area Medical Reserve Corps. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on Communication file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on Communication file. Communication from the Auditor certifying the balance of the Stabilization Fund of December 7, 2015 is $3,395,648.83. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Election Commissioner requested the City Council transfer $87,000 from the Stabilization Fund to Board of Elections in order to fund a special general election to replace Representative Brady and in conjunction with the presidential primary. Accepted and placed on file. The Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. The CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the fire chief requesting the transfer of ambulance receipts in the amount of $48,000 in order to purchase an incident command, ve command vehicle for the chief superintendent of fire alarm with the installation of the required equipment to include VHF and UHF radios, visual and audible warning systems, and proper markings. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Throw it in the same file. Accepted and placed on <laughs> file. <laughs> You're on a roll tonight. We had an ordinance amended Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances. The City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council. The City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27 is hereby amended by amending the zoning district map for various plots of Brockton Assessor's Map 181 
in Council May 11, 2015, read and referred the Committee on Ordinance and Planning. Uh, the recommendation is uh, favorable from both boards. The question is, uh, is to be ordained by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Burns. Yes. Burns. Yes. Ian Erie. Yes. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. 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 The order is ordained. Not as amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, be it ordained as follows Chapter 2, Administration, Article 4, Financial Affairs, Section 2 256, Abatements, and Council, September 28, 2015. Ready to refer the committee on ordinance. That report is favorable. The question is to be ordained by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Burns. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is ordained. Order that the sum of $2,800,000 is appropriated to pay costs to various energy conservation <coughs> improvements to city buildings, including the payment of all costs incidental related thereto. Such improvements to be made in accordance with the Energy Services Agreement with the City and Amerisco Inc. and Council, October 26, referred to the Committee on Finance. The report is favorable. And the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Burns. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And, and the order is adopted. Order that the City Council approves the execution of the proposed 20-year agreement between the City and Stonehill College. This agreement provides the term and conditions under which the City would provide sewer services to the College. That's execution back there. And City Council, November 23, 2015. For the Committee on Finance, our report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Burns. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monty. Yes. 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 Appropriation of thirty thousand dollars. The order is adopted. I'm sorry. Sorry on that. That's right. Appropriation of thirty thousand dollars from the Mass Department of Environmental Protection grant for the purpose of the Sustainable Materials Recovery Program and the Small Scale Recycling Initiative to Refuse Department Recycling Containers and Small Scale Initiative Grant Fund and Council November 23rd. Ready to refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Burns. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. All the Pastor Roberto Severo of the Universal Missionary Church and or his or her designee come before the Finance Committee to discuss the efforts, initiatives, and proposals being utilized to address the serious issues of homelessness, homelessness within the City of Brockton and Council November 23, 2015. Referred to the Committee on Finance, our report is favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Burns. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. <laughs> order that the DPW Commissioner is authorized to grant a five foot wide use easement over a portion of Pearl Street in Brockton, Pilgrim County, Massachusetts, for the use by an abutting property shown in Plot 91, City of Brockton, Census Map 7, 1280 Belmont Street, owned by Rock Hills <coughs> LLC, 1063 North Main Street, Brockton, Mass., Philip C. Nazarella, Jr., Manager. Referred to the Committee on Real Estate. Order that in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the special state primary election will be held on Tuesday, February 2, 2016, and that the special state election will be held on Tuesday, March 1, 2016. Referred to finance. Ordered in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the presidential primary will be held on Tuesday, March 1, 2016. Referred to finance. We have an appropriation of $6,098.66 for the Mass Association of Health Boards, Plymouth County Region 5 Emergency Coalition Grant Fund, to the City of Brockton Board of Health, Mass Medical Reserve Corp Grant Fund. These grant monies are for the purpose of building the level of volunteers for local medical reserve corps. Referred to finance. 
appropriation of 87000 from the Stabilization Fund, Board of Elections, Personal Services other than overtime, $70,000, Personal Services overtime, $2,000, Ordinary Maintenance Purchase of Services, $15,000, in order to fund extra costs for finance elections for February 2 and March 1 of 2016. Refer to finance. An appropriation of $48,000 from ambulance receipts to fire department capital. These funds will be used to purchase an incident command vehicle for the chief superintendent of fire alarm with the installation of the required equipment to include VHF and UHF radios, visual and audible warning systems, and proper markings. This vehicle would be used for responses to any and all incidents and daily matters requiring the presence of the Brockton Fire Chief, both with the city and then also surrounding communities. Refer it to finance. Councilor students, do you have a late file? Yes, sir. Second. Motion to accept the late file. And second. All in favor of that? Opposed? Mr. Clerk, you can read the, uh, read the order. Order that the mayor be authorized to execute a development agreement between the city of Brockton and, and on the Eye on the Ball LLC, a Delaware Limited. And, Strike that. A Delaware limited liability company having a usual place of business at Silversmith Park, 456 on a Street, Building 1, 3rd Floor, Wallingford, Connecticut, 06492 for the Electronic Advertising Board with digital copy, here and after a digital advertising board to be located at 59 Mill Street in Brockton, in the city of Brockton, Mass. A copy of the proposed development agreement is attached here too. Refer to the Committee on Finance. Any other, uh, anything else? Uh, councilors? Council Bonds? Yes, um, if I may have a moment of personal privilege. Yes, you may, Councilor. I just want to announce to my fellow councilors that the oh, next legislative oh, session, I'm going to bring forward a proposal um, that actually from the company that I've been communicating with, with it's a game changer with regard to public safety. And we actually have one of our esteemed officers here today. Um, there's a program called Star Chase, and I don't know if anyone's ever heard of it, <coughs> but I actually saw it on TV, and I've been communicating with one of the representatives <coughs> for the program and what it is it's actually it, re it reduces the pursuit um, aspect of uh, uh, crime fighting and public safety and what happens is um, the company will come to the departments and they will outfit the cars with uh, like a beacon a GPS beacon that shoots out of the grill of the car so if a police officer stops a car and I mean we'll probably have to talk to legal and stuff about this too but um, if a police officer <laughs> stops a car and say they take off, like sometimes they do, or if they're a rental car and they're not able to catch them, the beacon will send a signal out to the rest of the department. So if the car takes off on Oak Street, for instance, and then they go to Appleton Street or something and they park it thinking that they can get away, another patrol car can, can catch that signal yep. and uh, to uh, get that person without uh, the instance of pursuit. Uh, we've had several fatalities with some pursuits that we've uh, gotten into in the uh, later, later years and then the last one that we just had that went all throughout all the towns and all over the place. It's just unnecessary and, and um, it's to keep people safe and it's also to uh, help the police in order to do their job a little bit more efficiently. So um, I, I've been communicating with the sales agent of this, um, this company in West Virginia they're willing to come and do a presentation Almost, to the yeah. police department. I put a call in to the police chief um, and to the mayor <laughs> to be able to get this going. So um, I just wanted to put it out there now. Next leg legislative session, there'll be a formal <coughs> presentation, but um, just to let my counselors know, uh, my colleagues know that this will be coming up very soon. And again, she said it's a game changer. Um, in Milwaukee, Arizona, they're already doing it. And um, it, it's, it's a real good program that I think we can employ here in Brockton. Great. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Council. <coughs> we have a, another motion for a late file. Mr. President, that's right. I'd make, move to uh, make a late file at this time. Second. Motion been made and second to accept another late file. All in favor of that? Opposed? Mr. Clerk, please. Order that the Mayor Brockton be in here by authorized to file and accept grants from the Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs and that the Mayor Brockton be in is hereby authorized to take such other actions that are necessary to carry out the terms uh, purposes and conditions of this grant to be administered by the Department of Planning and Economic Development, and three, that this resolution shall take effect upon its passage. Refer to the Committee on Finance. Councilors, we will have a finance meeting next Monday evening, uh, December the 21st, right here at 7, uh, 7 p.m., and then naturally the following week um, will be December 28th after our, our Christmas holiday. We'll still uh, have one more meeting uh, uh, to go with our legislative uh, term. So, Anything else, uh, Councilor Stadinsky? If I might have a moment of personal privilege, I'm going to have a real estate meeting called for next 
Monday evening at 6.30 p.m. Real estate is very important. We have a couple of items. One, the councilor uh, yeah. in the bond says an item, and the other one is an improvement on a piece of property. I'd like to get them in and get it squared away and get it moving. Okay. 6.30 p.m., 21st. Real estate. Real estate meeting next Monday evening, 6.30 p.m., so that we can work on that, and that will conclude that um, for um, that committee also for this year. I didn't hear from any councils in regards to what I had uh, talked to you about last week at finance, if there was any of those postponements at, uh, uh, issues that we tabled, uh, if you want them brought forth. If not, then they'll just, um, they'll just pass with a legislative year. Hey. Okay, um, if I could, I'd yes, like to... Uh, Mr. Clerk, I'm going to allow you a moment of personal okay. privilege. Uh, I'd like to remind the council... Do we need a second on that? ...president and newly elected and those interested in the inaugural luncheon that to, uh, we would appreciate it if you would uh, let us know how many tickets you need because we are limited in seating. So it's going to be a question of those first come, first serve. So time is running close. It's January 4th. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't have a lot of time. So I don't want to shut the door on anyone here, but I'll be forced to once we reach the, reach the magic number. And we're about three quarters of the way there now. So I suggest that you contact my office if you're interested. And for those people out in TV land, that are interested in are looking to come to that luncheon, they can notify our office. Right. Big draw. Thank you. Don't play for the TV now, Mr. Clerk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool any, any, other, any, any other concerns in regards to that? Again, it's the inauguration is January 4th, so please get your uh, um, get those details to the uh, city clerk's office uh, ASAP so they can set the set the pace for what has to be done for that day. Any other business to come before the city council this evening? Seeing none. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>